will going to the gym cause you hair loss? The main reason for hair loss is DHT, which converts from free testosterone. Why do you think all the big bodybuilders are bald? So going to the gym is proven to increase testosterone levels, so DHT levels are going to be higher. However, here's how exercise may influence DHT levels. First, short-term increases. Some research suggests that engaging in intense physical activities may temporarily increase testosterone levels immediately after the workout. But these return to the baseline levels relatively relatively quickly afterwards. Second of all, long-term effects. Regular gym workouts can lead to adaptations in hormonal levels over time. While acute increases in testosterone and dihydrotestosterone may occur during and after training sessions, long-term adaptations to exercise can lead to more stable hormonal levels. So you should not worry too much because if you don't suffer from androgenetic alopecia, no matter how much you're going to work out, those follicles are not going to get affected by DHT sediments. If you do suffer from it, then you're going to probably lose the hair anyways, if of course you don't do any treatments. So if you think that skipping the gym will save your hair, you are wrong. The big and bold bodybuilders out there, they most likely lose their hair because they take huge quantities of enhancing drugs. So my advice would be go to the gym constantly because it has huge advantages for your health and mind. Tag your lazy ass friend in the comments down below so he stops making excuses about going to the gym.